This is 1961 Jefferson Nickel in mid condition 66 with 5 full steps on reverse. There is nothing particularly notable about the 1961 Jefferson Nickel, except for the fact that his tends to come weakly struck. Satiny nickel gray luster yields the slightest hint of delicate champagne tinting, with no mentionable abrasions. The steps of Monticello are impressive well defined. Sold on February 9, 2023 for $2,520 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1937 Boone Half Dollar. Philadelphia Mint Matte Proof Specimen. This 1937 Philadelphia commemorative half dollar derives from the only matte proof set authenticated of the Daniel Boone type, and may well be unique. The production of these matte proofs was not recorded by the Mint, and their existence was once unknown to many researchers. This incredibly rare Boone half dollar proof is razor sharp and fully struck with fine matte surfaces that showcase the design elements to their full extent, while giving the surfaces a soft steel gray hue common to matte proof silver coins. A few light lines explain the seemingly limited technical grade. Sold on August 4, 2020 for $84,000. This is 1937 Buffalo Nickel so-called three-legged nickel. Ultimate demand rarity. According to Ron Guth, the 1937 D3 legs variety resulted from overzealous polishing of a worn reverse die. The front foreleg was almost completely removed and the back leg developed a moth-eaten appearance. A diagnostic feature of this variety is the stream that appears beneath the bison's belly. If this feature is not present, beware of an altered coin. This lustrous and sharply struck example has all the eye appeal of the finest regular 1937 D nickels. The definition on the chief's hair, braid knot, and the bison's back are exceptional. The satiny surfaces radiate vivid mint luster with mellow champagne gold shades at the borders and icy lilac toning at the centers. Sold on April 28, 2016 for $85,187.50 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1926 S. Lincoln Sen in Mint State 65 Red. Major Series Condition Rarity. The rarity of the 1926 S. Lincoln Scent in gem full red condition is such that even the most patient and well-funded collectors may never have an opportunity to acquire an example. Both sides glow with satiny coppery gold luster that yields wisps of lilac and pale rose when tilted in hand. We note a few faint specks on the reverse, but they are hardly detracting and the surfaces are largely free of abrasions. The strike is the hallmark of this coin, showing better peripheral definition than is typically seen on this issue, much of which was struck with heavily worn or eroded dyes. A true gem that will impress the Lincoln Scent Connoisseur. Sold on January 10, 2019 for $90,000 at Heritage Auctions. In the most valuable coin of the episode. 1922 High Relief Piece Dollar with Antique Finish. A 2018 is a recently discovered trial striking of the 1922 High Relief Peace Dollar, struck in business strike format and first reported by David W. Lang in 2007. It is one of the rarest die combinations from 1921 to 1922, a time period when the Mint experimented extensively with the relief of Anthony de Franchici's artistic Peace Dollar design, in sandblast, satin, proof, and business strike finishes. The design elements of this coin are noticeably sharper than expected from a high-relief business strike issue, if not quite as full as those on the 1922 high-relief proofs. Just a touch of softness shows on Liberty's hair and the eagle's feathers in the centers. The rims are slightly reduced and the diagnostic short ray through the N in one is boldly rendered. Sold on January 10, 2019 for $192,000 at Heritage Auctions.